Chapter 5 Negro, have you lost your damn mind? Andre and I were sitting on the living room floor watching Roll Runner outsmart Wiley Coyote when all hell rained down. Don, I know you in there. Mildred ran down the stairs, came into the living room, and turned the television down before she signaled for us to be quiet and sit with her on the couch. Clarissa, what the hell are you doing? I could care less about the whores you stick your nasty little thing in. Hold on, Mildred is my wife, woman. Just because you marry a hoe, you think she no longer a whore? Hey, don't make me come down now. Daddy shouted out of upstairs window. Please do. I kick your ugly black ass and then I whip that high yellow heifer. Heifer, don't be trying to make these boys call you mama. Clarissa, what you talking about, crazy woman? How you gonna leave my babies with a stranger? Ain't nobody left nobody with nobody. Now go on before somebody call the law. Ebley, come open the door for mama, baby. I jumped off that couch and ran. Daddy came barreling down the stairs. Ebony, don't you? The door flew open. With one large arm, Mama Fluffy whisked me behind her while she brandished a shiny pearl handle hunting knife in the other hand. To the left of the front door was the small living room. Andre sat on the black velvet couch, wrapped in Mildred's arms. Baby, come here. Mama Fluffy motioned for Andre to come to her. No, I don't think so. Heifer, don't make me. Then Mama Fluffy pointed the knife at Mildred. Mildred removed her arms and Andre got up and came to us. Damn it, Clarissa, these boys mine, not yours. You a lie and the truth ain't in you. Negro, I done raised these two, you, me, and our thing. Evelyn, Andre, go get in the cab with your sister. I moved at a snail's pace. I really wanted to hear the rest. Heck, if I was lucky, Miss Mildred would get smart with Mama Fluffy, and then it would really be on. Don, get their clothes and meet me at the cab. Mama pointed the shiny blade in Miss Mildred's direction. Mildred? I don't have no qualms with you, but these my boys, and no need in them getting to know you and you trying to get to know them because you won't be around that long anyway. Don gets bored easy and fast.